Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising <clears throat> weekly tarot reading, August 5th to August 11th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we're going to jump straight away uh, into it. Okay, so the first card which stands for the topic of your Cancer Week is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the third one which stands for the positive aspect of the week, we do have the Page of Swords, <clears throat> and the last one which represents the uh, guidance this is going to be the ten of pentacles so it does look like that this week is going to be all about money and material gains okay or is going to be like how to make the mo the best possible decision to increase those uh, material gains well i haven't expressed myself um well well it's like how to make the best investment in material aspect, all right, without losing anything, okay? So that will be the whole point of this week, um, <clears throat> which is August 5th to August 11th. So uh, before we scrutinize it, let's go and run the cards down one more time. We do have the Tree of Pentacles, which is the, po the topic of the week, followed by the Seven of Pentacles, which is the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Page of Swords, which is the positive aspect. And the last one is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, which is the uh, <clears throat> guidance that Tsar is offering to you. So Tree of Pentacles, uh, it's about uh, cooperation and it is about uh, usually support through development. But what is in this case? I mean, looking at the following cards, follow-up cards to the Tree of Pentacles, I do believe that you will be that, that someone is going to negotiate with you or a company is going to negotiate with you party is going to negotiate with you for example your wife may negotiate with you to buy something all right or to invest material aspects into a, a specific thing there are going to be a lot of conversations and a lot of negotiations there are going to be those meaningful uh arguing or arguments that are to be uh, present into uh, into this week with attempt to convince you uh, that this thing that the other people wants you to go for it's uh, it's beneficial and it is all right but it is in a in a grand scheme of things it's not exactly as much beneficial as possible the way that they are presenting it so the way i see it here cancer is that people ask you to invest let's say money into something that is underdeveloped at this point okay but once in the, it develops uh, to uh, its um, major extent is going to return those those investments back to you 
So uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Cups and the formation, it is a, a passive friends and that just threatens my statement of the Three of Pentacles because the Nine of Cups is about a securing certain progress, you know, a good progress that have been done, an exhilarating progress that gives you a sensational joy, a lot of content and as well, you know, a lot of happiness, but it is not quite as secure as one would like to be and that's why it needs more investments into it all right and as these people are running dry on investments they may come to you all right to ask for your contribution into it like i said this is a material thing it's not emotional so uh, and as a material material things does not um, relate only to a uh, money okay it may relate to time it may relate to um, effort it may relate to knowledge as well okay so um, basically um, the way I see it it is that um, there will be a people party or a person around you that cannot pull their things their things through without you right and they will come to you for help and it's the time for you to negotiate the best deal of your life the way I see it <clears throat> so what will be the challenge we do have the seven of pentacles so seven of pentacles is about catching up your breath it's about being calm while very calcul calculative from within okay it is about waiting the how can i place it that meaningful event that once it's it's waiting for so one can make their uh, their mind up that being said, uh, the Seven of Pentacles as a challenge here, it does represent the eagerness that you have to slumber your eagerness. Uh, what I'm trying to say here, uh, Cancer, is that as soon as this, um, uh, I would say, an opportunity of investments is presented to you, you're going to find it very good, all right? You're going to be very, very excited for it because you're going to see that it is very beneficial, all right? And this is something you should not um, you should not show to the other party, like playing poker. All right, you have an exceptional hand in poker. All right, and you should do whatever you can to hide your emotions or your exhilaration. You know your thrill that you are going to win, because that will give the knowledge of other people um, that you do have the aces in your sleeve, let's say it that way, and so they can fold, all right, or they can withdraw, all right, or they may not pre um, offer you the best deal of your life, just like I said. So keep your calm. That will be the challenge. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> the formation, it is a... Uh, passive uh, passive enemies that we do have so um i it's just ex um, exponential understanding of how good that deal is going to be and the more you understand how good that deal is going to be the more uh, thrilled you are going to become that is obvious and the, the more difficult it will become for you to hide your excitement which you have to do at all costs all right it's just that is imperative so uh, additionally to that you are going to uh, have that uh, strength through spirit and uh, uh, a very accurate uh, how can i place it analysis over what this proposal is going to give you and how much you should invest in it so at the end you end up in in plus so at the end you end up with interest that is a very very good thing okay so just to give you an example let's say that a company approaches you with a proposition for a job this is because they find you as the best candidate for it among many all right and you will understand that so that gives you the leverage to bargain for bigger salary that they're initially offering to you showing them how excited you are to work for them and all that just going to tell them that this this is this was what you are waiting for and you are ready to agree for whatever they throw at you and that is the last thing you want because you can definitely bargain for more it, it is just what the week the week is all about so positive aspect of the week is going to be this person here which is the page of swords well, that is a, uh, a good friend of yours or someone that uh, really wants you to see how, how you are going to succeed. 
So the Page of Swords really under, understands the matter, okay? The Page of Swords, it is very brilliant into their, um, uh, it's not like wake-ups, but more like a, um, with, well, I don't know how to express it. It's very brilliant with the things that they can came up with, all right? So what the Page of Swords does for you is separating here the fictions from the facts. It's separating the fallacies, you know, from what is real. Therefore, let's say you go to this interview of a, of a job, they offer you things and, I, and you are quite excited for it, although you are saying, I'm going to think about it with your poker face on it. You come home, you call this friend of yours, let's say, going on a cup of coffee and you're telling them what, uh, how the meeting went, right? And, this, and, and you're telling them, well, they're going to hire me for, let's say, $3,000 a month. This one says, why are you mad? I mean, they, they, they easily can pay you at least seven, all right, for the job that you are going to make so this person kind of additionally opens your mind or rather like it, it makes it it makes you more aware that you can bargain for more what i mean is that this person will ensure that you are going to get the best deal as possible either career or relationship wise the accompanied card is going to be the moon formation. It is a active neutrals here. The moon card stands for anxiety. The moon card stands for insecurities as well. Uh, and uh, mm, lack of determination what follows next. Well, as a neutral to the uh, page of swords, the page that points to the page, this person will have an answer to every insecurity or to every... Um, how can I place it? Every baffling proposition or situation you are finding yourself at throughout the week. So you go to the interview, these people offering you something and so on and so forth. You are kind of baffled with it. You don't know what to say. Uh, you are quite reluctant to say either yes, but you don't want to uh, miss the opportunity here. Go to the page. The page is going to find a, a solution to that thing to uh, arrange the best possible, like I said, deal of your life. It is just a, an amazing week for you cancer to increase your monetary gains to increase your comfort and uh, in, in generally to make your future much more um foreseeable and predictable and, and secured was the word that i was searching for here and so the last card which we're going to, it's going to be the Guidance, and that will be the Ten of Pentacles. So in this follow-up, the Ten of Pentacles is all about investment. Just like the man here invested into family, invested into house, invested in invested all his uh, knowledge, efforts, and money into personal comfort, and what he has, he has a happy family, and now he can enjoy his elderhood, being calm and... and um, and deprived from anxiety that he is leaving a, a legacy and this is what you need to do you need to make your investment as investments as best as possible to whatever opportunity comes in your way throughout the week because an opportunity is coming someone is going to approach you with anything or is going yeah it's going to approach you with anything or it's going to propose you something all right and you will, you should not take it straight away, but instead, like I said, negotiate your way through. <clears throat> the accompanied card here is going to be the sun. The formation, it is a um, passive neutrals. So with the sun card here, uh, it is a sign that, that that's not the end, okay? It is a sign that the more you invest, going further into the future, not initial investments, but after that, the more you invest, the more gains that you're going to get. And on top of that, as a neutral to the Ten of Pentacles, it speaks that eventually, and in the future, you will be the one leading the steeds. All right, so that could speak for a leadership position. It could speak as well as a dominance into into one's marriage. Should you now invest into the marriage, all right? It could speak as a uh, leader into a social circle as well. It speaks for someone who is uh, honored, who is valued, who is um, well respected, and people listen to him, all right? And that will be you, Cancer. Should you put on your poker face, all right, and negotiate the hell out of a deal throughout the week august 5th to august 11 2019. 
So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 5th to August 11th, 2019, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.